Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to machine learning and large language model tutorials. We are continuing strong with covering different and interesting large language models and with explaining how to install them locally. In this video tutorial we explain how to install and run locally the newest model published by Alibaba. The name of this model is QWQ32B where 32B stands for 32 billion parameters. In this video tutorial we explain how to install QWQ on a Linux Ubuntu computer. We created a separate video tutorial explaining how to install QWQ on a Windows computer and a link to that tutorial is given in the description below. So let's immediately start. But first, let's explain why this model is very important and interesting. Consider this graph. This graph shows the performance of QWQ32B and the performance of other state-of-the-art models. This red square over here, or the red rectangle, represents the performance of QWQ and, for example, this blue rectangle over here represents the performance of DeepSeq R1 with 671B parameters. Immediately, it's obvious from this graph that the performance of QWQ32B is comparable and similar to the performance of DeepSeq R1 671B. However, QWQ only has 32 billion parameters. On the other hand, DeepSeq R1 has 671 billion parameters. And this is the main advantage. You can actually execute QWQ on a local computer with consumer level hardware. For example, we were able to run this model on NVIDIA 3090 GPU and it works like a charm. You can relatively quickly get the response. On the other hand, it's practically impossible to install and run DeepSeq R1 670B parameter model on a local computer. You can see also that QWQ has better performance than other model in most of the cases. That is, it's better than DeepSeq R1 Distilled, version 70B and 32B, and it's better than OpenAI 01 Mini, on average. In this video tutorial, we are going to teach you how to locally install and run QWQ 32B and how to generate a graphics user interface for interacting with this amazing model. And what I like about this graphic user interface generated by OpenWebUI is that the equations can be nicely printed out since OpenWebUI has a latex interpreter. Okay, let's immediately start with installation. First of all, click here and open a terminal. And over here, I'm going to resize the terminal such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time, you can see the commands over here. Whenever you want to install a program or a package on a Linux Ubuntu, you need to write these two commands that are compressed as a single command. They're going to update and upgrade everything. After you run these commands, we need to install curl. We will install curl in order to download Olama. To install curl, you need to execute this command and then verify the curl version by typing curl double dash version. And the next step is to install Olama. To install Olama, you need to go to the Olama website, then you need to click on download. Over here, you can see that Linux is automatically recognized and you just need to copy this command and paste this command and execute. And it's going to take a while to execute this command. Once the command is executed, Olama will be installed on your local computer and we can proceed further. Once Olama is installed, let's verify the installation by opening a new tab in the web browser and by typing this local host address and you should see Olama is running. Another thing, another verification is, go, is to go back to the terminal and simply to type Olama and if Olama is installed, you should see this generic response. The next step is to download the model. To download the model, go back to the base Olama website then over here, search for QWQ and click here. And here, copy this command, go back to the terminal, 
Don't execute immediately this command, change run to pool, since we just want to download the model and press enter. And it's going to take maybe five minutes or maybe even 10 or somewhere in between to download the model, depending on how fast is your internet connection. After the model is downloaded, you will see this. That is, you will see the success message. Let's make sure that the model exists on our computer by typing Olama list, and here it is. And let's test the model by typing Olama run, and then let's type the model name. Here it is. And let's see the output. Let's see what will happen. Okay, so let's ask, who are you? And let's see the response. You can see that the model is responding. This means that we can continue further and we can generate a graphics user interface for this model. To exit the model or LAMA, press Ctrl D. The next step is to create a workspace folder and to create the Python virtual environment and install Open Web UI. So let's do that. First of all, make sure that you're in the home folder by typing this command and then create a folder called test web UI, then navigate to this folder. And inside of this folder, we need to create a Python virtual environment. However, first make sure that you have Python on your system by typing this command and this command should return the Python path. Then verify the Python version. Here it is. I'm using Python 3.12 and I'm also using Linux Ubuntu 24.04. Let's first install a command that will enable us to create Python virtual environments. And then let's create the Python virtual environment. Be patient. And then let's activate the Python virtual environment. Here it is. Now you will see environment one over here, which means that you're currently in the Python virtual environment and you can install open web UI library. To do that, simply type pip install open dash web UI. And here you need to be patient. It's going to take a while to install open web UI, maybe up to five minutes, depending on how fast is your computer and how fast is your internet connection. It took around five minutes to install Open Web UI, and the next step is to run Open Web UI. We do it like this. And then wait, because some packages will be downloaded. And after the packages are downloaded, you will see a message and you will be able to open this amazing software on this local address. So let's wait for a while and start its server process. So let's copy this address. Let's go to the web browser and let's paste this local address or local host. And here you are. Click here to get started, enter your name, enter your email address and set the password. Over here, you're setting the password actually on your local computer. That is, you're not registering online, then you will see this window, click over here, and you can start asking questions. But before you do that, make sure that over here the model is selected, and let's ask a question, who are you? Now, first time you're running this model, it's going to take a while to upload the model in your memory, so consequently it might be slower first time you're answering the question. And here it is, okay. Good. So let's ask, for example, the question, how, how to solve a quadratic, quad, let me see, quadratic equation. Again, I didn't spell it very well because my keyboard is far away from my microphone. So let me just type something like this. X plus five is zero. And let's see the answer. Now the computer is thinking and the model again is being loaded and you'll see the response in a second. And over here you can see how the response is generated in real time and you will see everything what is happening. It works like a charm on NVIDIA 3090 GPU. And the one thing I like about OpenWeb UI is that over here you actually can nicely print the equations since OpenWeb UI has a latex interpreter and the equations are nicely rendered. 
Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.